Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you guys a Division 2 PvP build video. Now before we jump into the build, a big shout out to Example TM. He is another content creator for Division and Division 2. And he's the one from whom I got the blueprint for this build. Now I took the idea and swapped a few gear pieces to make the build even better. So make sure you guys check his channel out. I'll link it in the description below. Alright, let's get started with the build. Now as a general stat, we are sitting at 474.7k armor and 68.8k health. We have 9 offensive, 11 defensive and 0 skills. Now one thing I like to mention that this build is made to achieve raw damage and survivability. This is not a crit chance or nowadays relevant meta builds and entirely dependent on your weapons and a few talents to gain raw damage from. Alright, so for the guns, I am using a FAMAS which is sitting at 19k weapon damage. As for the talents, I'm using Ranger with Axtra. Now Ranger is because I prefer to pick enemies from a decent distance whenever possible. And Extra is because I feel FAMAS as an assault rifle has high enough rate of fire already. And you know those extra 10 bullets do help a lot when fighting people with clutch especially that I have experienced so far. But it's a personal preference. You can go ahead and use Allegro if you like. As for the secondary, I am using the Merciless obviously for the holster talent to activate spark it's called brutality when holstered landing a shot has a 5% chance to deal 100% damage as explosive damage now 5% chance may seem low but it works really well with FAMAS as this weapon's RPM is over 900 and even 990 with Allegro so that's crazy high which tends to activate spark quite often. As for the sidearm I am using a D50 for the holster talent only which in my case is protected reload. Now again this is a personal preference you may run any talent which works best for you. Right now to the gear pieces the mask that I'm running is the Hollow Man named mask. Now this mask is Dark Zone exclusive only. You can either farm for it or wait for it to be available at the Thieves Den vendor. Now I am not entirely sure but I think it was available a few hours ago. But I'm not sure so you can check and see if it's still there. You can pick it up. Uh, anyhow. So on the mask we have one blue and one red and I have rolled 56% hazard protection on it. Now you only need to roll 40% as the rest of the 60 will be gained from the mask by default. As you can see it has perfectly insulated as a talent which gives you 50 and then being a yaw gear it gives you 10% by default. So that's over 100% which covers everything. On to the next piece, I am using an Aroldi chest with over 29k armor and 25% total armor which I rolled in addition. As for the talents, I'm using Berserk and this chest piece comes with two mod slots, one red and one blue which you can stack with your best damage and armor mods as much as possible. Alright, to the next one I am using a Killer God holster. 
uh, which comes with one red and one blue and I have rolled over 41k health on it. Now this holster comes with two red mod slots which you can stack with your best damage mods accordingly. Now uh, as for the next piece I am using a Gila God backpack with uh, two blues and one red. It has over 11k armor which is not the max by the way you can get way much higher than that but this is the best one I got so two blues 11k armor 20.5% total armor and one red and as for the talents I am running spark which is a must-have for this build and hardened which gives us an additional 15% total armor now this backpack comes with one red and one blue mod slot which you can stack with your best mods accordingly now as for the gloves I am running a Fenris gloves with two reds which will give us 10% assault rifle damage by default and I have rolled 13% additional assault rifle damage on it as for the talents I am uh, using precise because I play on PC and do tend to land headshots quite often but it's personal preference you can use devastating if you like on to the last piece I am using a Gila God knee pad with 11% total armor and as for the talents I'm using patience because I run a mender seeker mine which if you combine with patience works really really well now onto the skills again I am using a mender seeker mine which comes with the survivalist specialization which in my opinion works better than a chem launcher especially after TU6 because they nerfed all the skill batteries to the ground and the chem launcher barely heals you unless you have a decent amount of yellows on your build which in our case we don't have any so to the next skill that I'm using is the striker drawn now striker drawn does help in activating spark and more importantly it helps out you know distracting enemies quite good because you know if, if there's a drone on your head shooting at you from you know random directions it could be quite annoying so that's useful uh, but again you can use a defender drone but in my opinion it is too weak for PvP at this moment I have tried it out you know I tested it but just a few bullets and it's gone so I don't recommend that but again uh, it's personal preference use what you like uh, all right guys so this is the build and real quick let me show you the stats as for the weapons all talents are active as for PvP weapon damage we are sitting at 13k as for the crit chance uh, it's not a crit chance build as I said so 22% and 25% crit damage we have 70% headshot damage which is good 30% stability 20 accuracy as for the all weapon damage we are at 4% only but we are at 55% assault rifle damage bonus now if we go to the very bottom all the talents on the gear pieces are active and then as a general number we are sitting at 474 692 armor and 68,817 health 38,882 health regeneration and for the last thing is we are sitting at 136 percent hazard protection now that's an overkill anything around 100 percent it works fine so it depends what pieces you have because this particular piece is uh, not everyone has it so 
you need to work around to get as much as possible when it comes to hazard protection anyhow uh, that's about it I hope you like the build and you know in conclusion I can confirm that this particular build performs really really well against all meta builds that people are running at this moment uh, because I have been testing it out from a week now and have been facing people with bleed hives clutch and dilemma builds you know all that stuff and it works it performs real well uh, which you can see in my gameplay at the end of this video uh, hope you like it so this is about it this is the build feel free to ask any questions that you might have in the comments below I'll try my best to answer as soon as possible. So hit like, subscribe to my channel. I am quite new to this, so any support is much appreciated. So enjoy the gameplay. See you in the next one. Thank you. 